In today's video, we're going to be talking about Hubstack, a powerful tool designed for tracking time, managing projects, and boosting productivity. If you're managing a remote team, running a small business, or even working as a freelancer, Hubstack might be the perfect solution you've been looking for. By the end of this review, you'll know everything you need to about Hubstack, including its key features, pricing, pros and cons, and whether it's the right fit for your business. If you want to check out Hubstack for yourself, go ahead and click the link in the description. Let's get into it. What is is Hubstaff. Hubstaff is a time tracking software with additional features like project management, employee monitoring, and productivity analysis. Hubstaff was created to solve the common challenge of managing remote teams effectively. The platform combines time tracking with workforce analytics, making it easier to manage employee work hours, oversee projects, and even monitor the productivity of your team. The goal of Hubstaff is to provide transparency and accountability so businesses can better manage their resources and keep projects on track. Next, let's talk about their key features. Hubstaff offers a wide range of features designed to help businesses track time, manage teams, and analyze productivity. Let's take a closer look at some of the platform's most important features. Time tracking. Hubstaff's primary feature is time tracking, which allows employees to clock in and out from anywhere, including desktop, mobile, or even offline. The software automatically tracks the time spent on tasks and projects, providing detailed reports on hours work, idle time, and activity levels. Hubstaff's time tracking also integrates with over 30 other software tools such as Asana, Trello, and QuickBooks, making it really easy to sync all of your data across your business operations. Employee monitoring. One of Hubstaff's standout features is employee monitoring capabilities. The platform tracks activity levels by measuring keyboard strokes and mouse movements, giving managers insight into how productive their team members are throughout the entire day. Additionally, Hubstaff offers screenshot capture, which allows managers to see what employees are working on in real time. GPS tracking for field teams. For businesses with field teams or employees working on site, Hubstaff offers GPS tracking. This feature allows managers to see where employees are located during their shifts, making it a lot easier to monitor attendance, ensure safety, and track job progress. Project management. In addition to time tracking, Hubstaff includes basic project management tools that allow managers to assign tasks, set deadlines, and track progress. Hubstaff also provides budget tracking, so you can monitor how much time and resources are being spent on each project. Payroll integration. Hubstaff offers automatic automatic payroll features that allow you to pay your team based on the hours they've tracked. You can set up payroll to run bi-weekly or monthly schedules, and payments can be sent directly through the platform via integrations with PayPal and a few other softwares. Reporting and analytics. Hubstaff provides detailed reporting tools that offer insights into employee productivity, project progress, and overall team performance. The productivity reports are especially useful for businesses that want to optimize their operations and identify areas where employees might need additional support or guidance. Next, let's talk about the pricing and plan options. Hubstaff offers several pricing plans, allowing businesses to choose the option that best fits their needs. Whether you're a small team or a large enterprise, Hubstaff's tiered pricing ensures that you're only paying for the features you need and use. So Hubstaff does offer a free trial, so if you want to get started for free, go ahead and click that link in the description to get started. So here you can see they have a couple of different options. The starter plan is $7 per month, and it's two seats minimum, and that's if you pay month to month, but you can save 16% if you go ahead and pay annually. Moving on to the grow plan. This starts at $9 per seat per month, but if you want to pay annually, you can save 16%. This is also a two seat minimum. Moving on to the team plan. This is the most popular plan and it is $12 per seat per month, but again, you can save 16% by paying annually. For the enterprise plan, you can only pay annually, but it is $25 per seat per month. You get all the features in the team plan, plus you get locations, you get insights, corporate app, higher limits on public API, pay by bank debit, ACH, HIPAA compliance, SOC 2 type 2 compliance, enterprise deployment, account provisioning, single sign-on, and a Hubstaff corporate app. Let's take a closer look at the pros and cons of using Hubstaff. Starting off with the pros, comprehensive time tracking. Hubstaff's time tracking tools are accurate and easy to use, which makes it really simple to monitor hours work, employee activity, and project progress. Employee monitoring. For managers who want to keep an eye on productivity, Hubstaff's monitoring features such as activity tracking and screenshots offer really valuable insights into how team members are performing. Another pro is the GPS tracking for field teams. The GPS tracking feature is ideal for businesses that manage field teams, providing real-time location tracking to ensure safety and productivity. Easy payroll integration. Hubstaff's payroll feature make it super easy to pay employees based on tracked hours. This streamlines the payment process for businesses with hourly employees. Cross-platform support. Hubstaff is available on desktop, mobile, 
and browser-based apps, making it really easy to track time from anywhere. Let's go ahead and review some of the cons. Privacy concerns. The employee monitoring features such as screenshot capture and activity tracking may raise privacy concerns for some employees. Another con is limited project management features. While HubStaff offers basic project management tools, businesses that need more advanced features like certain types of charts or detailed task dependencies might find the platform lacking in this area. Pricing for larger teams. While HubStaff is affordable for small teams, the cost can add up quickly for larger businesses, especially if you need access to premium features like payroll and GPS tracking. Let's go ahead and get started with how to sign up for Hubstaff. So what you want to do is click the link in the description and you will get brought to this page. We will go ahead and start a free 14 day trial. We'll go ahead and type in first name, last name, your work email, go ahead and click I agree and then create my account. Now we're going to go ahead and click create organization. We're just going to do Yeah, we'll do Ashley's organization and then you can enter in a company website if you have one it is optional go ahead and click next next from here you can invite members via email you also can do this later so if you did want to add someone all you would have to do is type in their email and decide if they'd be a user or manager and then if you need to add more go ahead and click add another member i'll we'll just go ahead and make you a manager and then get started and then from here we're going to choose the plan that's right for us so we're going to go ahead and choose the team plan and then if you wanted to add on any add ons you can do that and then you'll just add in your payment information but you won't get charged until the free trial is up now we'll go ahead and go to dashboard okay so your dashboard as you can see will have weekly activity worked this week so much information all the recent activity all of your members will be here your projects your to do's project budgets apps and urls you also can manage your widget over here so you can decide what you want to see and customize that which is great here you can see is timesheets so this is where all the timesheets will be all the approvals you can customize it by time period you can look at daily weekly and calendar you can search specific members and it will all appear on here next is approvals so this is where all the approvals will be you'll get alerts to approve or deny employees time sheets at the end of certain pay periods moving on to activity once you do have employees that have tracked their time it will appear on here and you'll be able to see their screenshots but of course we don't have any data in here yet so it will pop up on here and you'll be able to see worked time, average activity, focus time, unusual activity instances, and work time classification. Again, you can change the date as well. Moving on to apps, this is where you can look at different app activity and see where people are getting the most work done. It's a really easy way to make sure your team members stay on track towards their goals. Next is URL activity. You can see which URLs your team visits the most. Again, it really is about having your team members stay on track towards their goals. Moving on to insights. So this is where you can see performance and you can do all members, you can do specific teams and you can select certain members as well. And also on here, you can determine which time period you would like to see. And then here it'll say percentage of high activity. And then you can see the percentage of unusual activity, suspicious apps, and the percentage of long single input activity. Moving on to smart notifications. So this is the notification center. So you can see if an employee is having suspiciously high activity or if members are overworking or if average daily work time falls below five hours. There's a bunch of other templates you can select from as well. Moving on to project management. So this is where you can import projects or you can specifically add a project as well. You can add the project name, the member, the budget limits, as well as the team. You also can see your archived projects as well. Moving on to tasks. So once you add a project, you also can assign tasks to it as well. You also can add clients in here and you can import them or you can go ahead and add them. You would add their general information, which is their name, their address, contact info, any projects, budgeting, and invoices as well. Here you can see the schedules. So you can see certain team members are working and when their time has been tracked, you also can show unscheduled. You also can select one member, multiple members, and go ahead and select certain teams as well. Within the calendar as well, you'll be able to see time off and holidays. So this is where you'll create your own policies so your team can request time off and you can plan ahead more effectively. Moving on to reports. So within reports, there are a bunch of different reports templates that you can actually look at. So they have time and activity, amounts owed, daily totals. There's also expenses, payments, you know, there's client invoices and shift attendance as well. Moving on to people. This is where you will see all of your members. Here you can see we have one member, which is our account that we just created. So this is me. And then you can also see the invites that were sent out. And as you can see, I have not opened yet. So it's pending. Moving on to teams. This is where you can easily add members and process 
projects to teams. You can also filter data by teams and assign team leads, and those people will have extra permissions within the team. So now let's go ahead and move into the financials. So this is where you would manage payroll. This is where you would connect PayPal or any other preferred payment system to automate the payroll. Lastly is just the settings. So this is where you can see all the settings and policies, configuring QuickBooks, looking at activity, other integrations, and billing history, etc. So to go back to the dashboard, you can just go ahead and click there. So here is how you can actually track the time. So there are extensions. You can download them directly for desktop, but if you have this open, you can add it to a specific project and add a specific to-do item, and you can go ahead and click play, and it will start tracking your time. That wraps up this video. In conclusion, Hubstaff is a comprehensive time tracking and productivity tool that offers valuable features for businesses of all sizes. If you're ready to streamline your operations and boost productivity, be sure to check the link in the description and get started today with the free trial. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or any questions below. This channel is dedicated to bringing you the best reviews and comparisons of software tools to help your business thrive. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.